Hey Super Coders! We're going to continue on from our talk from the last video. On the left side, you should see a menu with different types of items like text views, buttons, text fields, and lots of other. Click and drag an edit text item onto the screen wherever you like. Now, drag the button and the activity underneath te edit text you just add. Then underneath that, add text view of any size. One neat thing about Android Studio is that it will generate XML code based on the layout you just created. You don't need to worry about XML right now, but it can be interesting to take a look at the code and try to understand how it works. At the bottom, you should see a button that says text. Click on it and check out the code. At the top, we'll probably see relative layout surrounded by angled brackets. And the same thing at the bottom with a slash before the text. Let's make a change to the first item we put down, at text. Instead of having actual text, we're going to use something called a hint, which is gray text that shows up when nothing is typed in the text box. Put Android hint and to name here. Also, change the ID of edit text to something you'll remember, since we'll need to know what to make the app work later. Next, let's change our button so it says something more useful than just button. You can be creative here. We'll make our say, click me. Change the ID of the button too. For the text view, flip the text since we don't want it to say anything when the app starts up. That's all we need to set up the layout for our app. In the next lesson, we're going to start the actual coding. See you there. Bye, super coders! <laughs>